Hello everybody, my name is Alter and welcome to a post episode reaction for you guys. Uh, yes, I actually did do a reaction <laughs> on this episode, but unfortunately my episode, uh, my reaction was really laggy and I was like, I'm not going to do another one because I'm, just, <coughs> I'm pretty tired. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, but yes, I am going to talk about the episode as a whole and uh, how I feel about it so far and uh, obviously for me personally I actually don't like uh, you know reacting to pilot episodes on, on, on its own because I need a little bit of context and I, you know this um, this whole series dumps you in there and it kind of is like yeah let's you know let's take it as it goes you know it's kind of like Rick and Morty style uh let, let's go on an adventure and uh this is all you need to know and sometimes i do like that uh but uh the problem with this one is is it's uh um a superhero uh themed and obviously i i love that angle actually i really enjoy that angle uh but i do kind of want to be more wrapped up and then maybe they're gonna obviously unravel it in the next few episodes and that's what's kind of pulling me into this type of uh series um and of course you know you have the the first daughter which is anissa uh she has powers as well because you know powers are her hereditary but i do want to know how you got the powers and all that so that's something that's obviously in the in the comics but you know i never read black lightning comics i never knew about black lightning until today until i mean until the day i watched the trailer reaction and um yeah this is um you know what you'd expect to get when you see something like this i mean you know this episode was really heavy with music so i'm kind of glad i didn't do the reaction as a whole uh because you know i would have had to edit a lot of the music out and all that but it's not saying that i'm lazy it's just you know sometimes i'm, I'm really stretched for time and i'm like i you know it's, it's really tiring because editing is really tiring and um now that i know that my work will be insignificant uh during my birthday so please remember to hashtag fuck walter during <laughs> february 20th because i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will be like oh fuck walter man like already someone was like disliking my video uh for the things that i said during my live stream uh probably someone who thinks that i i don't want to work hard i want to work hard but uh you know as they say nobody works for free okay uh you work hard and you don't get the money then you're just like where's my money like where's the money and, and bear in mind you're not monetized during the whole 30 day period thing so you know what i'm saying um anyway so back to black lightning um i i really you know found the, the guy i mean the main protagonist to be really interesting he's uh you know he's a retired superhero as i said um but obviously somehow some way it'll always pull you back in obviously um and i really enjoy the the juxtaposition between the the, the guy who wants to become black lightning again and the police officer chief so that's kind of interesting uh psyche to dive in uh but what i don't really like is the the villains maybe you know they're they're a bit um kind of weird but in a good way as well because like they're bringing the anxiety levels up they're bringing you know the off hinge of the hinge uh personality and all that and i don't mind that uh it's just that sometimes you know it's it's kind of hard to see where they land meaning that it's kind of hard to see what their intentions are obviously you know some villains don't have intentions at all but um because we are not given this back tax you know tobias is obviously the big mafia guy um that comes in and uh you know he's like you told me you could handle this now do i have to f kill you or and do it myself or can you handle this and i'm like you know, you you could just probably kill him and, and deal with it yourself and end all the drama, you know. It's, it's, it's that kind of thing. It's very cliched. Um, so, 
yeah, I, I, I still like it though. I still really enjoy it. And the one thing I, I'm seeing a pattern of is the use of music whenever like a, like a, uh, an African American or you know black superhero comes on is the play on music. You know, you got the music playing every time and everywhere they are. It's like you know you can just tone it down. You know you can use music as a progression yes progression chords are good you know make the make the scenes a little bit more tense make it more soft make it more harsh it's up to you but you don't need to put it in every single place you you can and that's the problem with the modern uh media nowadays they don't know how to work it in and i kind of saw it in in luke cage but you know luke cage still kind of blended in well uh, in this one, it kind of seems off, but it's still okay. It's, it's not a really big problem. It's just a nitpick. Um, I don't have much to go on because it's only one episode, and I, I really like the two sisters, the Anissa and Jennifer. I, I swear I've seen Jennifer somewhere. Um, I think I've seen her actress somewhere. Uh, Anissa, I'm not really sure. Uh, the dad kind of looks like, uh, I mean, the main protagonist, obviously, Black Lightning's character. Uh, he kind of looks like Idris Elba, but I know it's not Idris Elba. Um, and of course, there's uh, some other actors, which I don't know. Um, so yeah, I would say that this is actually a pretty strong uh, start, especially because of that ending, because of the third act. Um, but this... I think the second act is where it really picks up and, and you know we do need the kind of like why he got back into superhero them as well so I, I definitely know that that needed to be in there but I don't think we need the will I don't think you know it, it's it's okay to have it it's just like I don't see a necessity because he's kind of the guy who just kind of brings in the conflict and that's just such a problem when you know it's the it's just the trigger for the conflict so there you go um yeah guys uh that's my mini review slash post reaction it's kind of debating myself whether to put even put this as a uh, hash of false reacts but i'm gonna keep it uh consistent i'm gonna keep it as a post episode reaction um so yeah anytime i have like a mini review or like a uh, like a small episode recap it's gonna be in a post episode reaction but anytime i, I do like a whole season i i'm gonna do do it in uh high shop Walter originals because that is my idea yeah, i do season recaps and all that uh and i also break down stuff for you you know do a bit of an analysis and rank stuff um what else I think Star vs. the Forces of Evil will come back in March, I think, maybe. Uh, April, like, like, late April or somewhere in March. Uh, FS Family is coming back in August, summer and fall. Uh, and obviously I'll be there because they're still a small community. And I really like that the writers kind of tweet me back and all that. So I really, really feel accomplished. Um... And yeah, uh, nothing much to say, but um, rock on Black Lightning, you know. I know that's kind of a cliche as well for me to do, but uh, it, seems, it seems that in this kind of setting, I just want to add in one small last part out of nowhere, I know. But it seems that this kind of setting is kind of being, being like the modern day America as well, like, you know, Black Lives Matter, etc., uh, it seems to be that way as well because, you know, they're, they're definitely bringing in some of the old ideas as well, you know, the old cop mentality, you know, anyone that looks black is, you know, a, a criminal, whatever. But obviously it kind of still plays in today because there is still some bias today. Um, but yeah, that that's about all I had to say. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and I'll definitely do an episode a reaction episode next week I i'm so sorry it's my bad today because my computer lagged and everything i'm so sorry about that um and just on a note of the uh you know new policy and everything i really don't mind 
it's just because I was really riled up about it. You know, I'm I'm thinking about other people. I'm thinking about other other creators. You know, I know that I'm not gonna get get money yet because I'm still working towards that. Um, right now I have twenty dollars at most in my ad sense. Um, and I know I have to work really hard to, for more money and all that. But the issue is, you know, if you're if you're constantly demonetizing your smaller creators, whatever, you're constantly saying you're not good enough to be on YouTube. Get the fuck out. Um, so that's just the, what the gist of my live stream was. If you don't agree, go ahead. I'm not saying don't not disagree. You know, um, but you know, I just wish that you guys understand the severity of this because everything is gonna keep on changing and it's gonna keep on including the big big fish and the medium fish and the small fish all die you know and that's where it gets really scary for me because without the small fish there would not be any big fish you know what i'm saying um so yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I, I will definitely do a I uh, I'll definitely do an episode reaction, a proper episode reaction next week. Uh, if you like this video, please give a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe to me. Uh, remember to hashtag Walter Reacts and all that. Uh, please share my videos and remember also to ring the bell because YouTube loves to unsubscribe people and you know you don't wanna don't wanna leave my channel. Uh, yet. So please, uh, please ring the bell so that you're notified that you're still subscribed to me. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.